Well, hello there. I guess we're ready for another video today. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Minzy. Here on my channel, we talk a lot about fragrances. I love sharing and connecting with you guys through my olfactive journey or just by anything that I truly enjoy. So if that sounds like something you enjoy watching, please consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my content in the future. All right guys, today I'm back with another haul for you guys and it's actually just a small one, but I want, I still want to share it with you guys. But first, look at my cup of tea. Isn't it so cute? I bought it from Timu and I love this cup. It is really, really fit in with my aesthetic. And I'm drinking tea today. I actually drinking tea every day, um, especially now that the weather is much colder. This is Japanese rice tea that I was gifted by my father-in-law and I love it very, very much. I love this tea. I can drink this one every day without getting tired. But yeah, before I start this video, I just have something I want to share with you. It's very, very exciting. It's not fragrance related, kind of, but not really. But I still want to share with you because in the next coming weeks or months, I'm going to be uh, taking a break from YouTube because I will be very, very busy. But my husband and I just bought a house. Yay! So we are now first time homeowners and yes, that means I'm going to move very, very soon. I will be very busy with buying new furniture and decorate our house to the way that we both like. But yeah, anyone knows me know how much it means for me to have a house. Um, you know that I have been in America for almost 10 years. In fact, the end of this year is gonna be exactly 10 years. I have been in America and to be honest, I haven't been feeling at home since I was here. So to have a house, I feel like I finally have a place where I can call home. So it's a very big thing for me, a very important thing for me. Um, I would say it's one of my biggest dream in my life and my husband and I are able to do it together. So I'm very, very happy. Um, and of course, of course, like I said in my last video, now that we have a house, I'm going to have more space to be more creative. That means I will have my own space for all of my fragrances, for filming and for creating content. And you best believe, you best believe I am going to show you guys my creative space, my fragrances, collections. And I have received some of requests from you, from you guys that you guys want to see my collections. And I know I've been holding off for a while because part of it, because we don't have a house of our own yet and I don't really have my own space for creating content yet. So I have to hold that off. But now that we have a house and I have a space for my all of my fragrances, um, of course, I'm going to decorate my corner and I'm going to share my collections with you guys on one of my videos. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's pretty much the news that I want to share with you guys. Um, thank you for listening. Now let's jump right in this video today. So the four fragrances that I'm going to talk about today are all from Zijo Perfumery. Um, I placed an order with them. Probably will be my last order of the year because I'm going to be very busy moving to um, our new house. So I'm going to put on hold any of my fragrance shopping 
for a little bit because I want to focus on moving and of course buy new furnitures for the house so yeah I, I will have to stop shopping for fragrances for a while but let's let me show you what I have in this haul so first of all is another fragrance from Andrea Mack. After the event with Andrea Mack, when I got home, I decided that I want another fragrance from the brand. Of course, in the future, I want more and more fragrances from Andrea Mack, but for now, this is the one that I picked up and it is Pavilion. And as I know, Pavilion is pretty popular recently, especially on TikTok. I feel like this brand has just been blew up really, really big on TikTok right now, which I understand, you know. This brand is gorgeous. And to describe this fragrance, I would compare this with Shagab Oud from Switch Arabian and Oud Bouquet from Lancome. If you love fragrances from that category, rose, sweet rose oud combo, then there is a high possibility that you will love Pavilion from Andrea Mack. And I'm not saying that they are similar, but I would say that this one definitely, when I put my nose on this fragrance, it reminds me immediately to Shagab Oud and Oud Bouquet. If you think Shagab Oud is strong, well guys, this one is even more potent. And the way that this fragrance is blended is to perfection. It is very, very refined and potent. I literally can smell a very high quality ingredient in here. And it's just, you know, it's just gorgeous. Honestly, I love this DNA. I cannot get enough of this DNA. And I think they did a great job on this fragrance. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's very elegant and at the same time, very sexy and mysterious. And it's just suit this cold weather perfectly. If you're thinking of a fragrance to wear this winter, check out Pavilion from Andrea Mack. But yeah, I absolutely in love with this fragrance and the brand in general. And I cannot wait to get more and more fragrances from Andrea Mack. And please let me know if you want a full in-depth review of Pavilion or Ceramic. These are the two fragrances that I have full bottles in my collections. Um, I can also do I can also do a full house re review because I have all of their samples so I can also do that too. So yeah just let me know in the comment below. So we have Andrea Mac Pavilion. All right guys the next fragrance it is getting more attention recently on social media. I would say mostly on YouTube. That's where I see most people talk about this fragrance. I haven't seen it on TikTok yet or Instagram yet, but YouTube is definitely getting the buzz. And it is Rosendo Matu, and this is 1970 Tonka Expansions glamour and look at the bottle guys very very luxurious bottle I love every single Rosendo Matu bottle if you already love the original bottle you would definitely love this bottle because it's even look better in person and to me this is the most beautiful gourmand fragrance that I have put my nose on recently. And besides that, you know, beautiful gourmand touch, I can definitely smell some powdery iris touch in here. I'm not sure if it's in the notes. Actually, let me check out real quick. There is no iris note in here, but I swear to you guys that I 
Camp picked up something very similar to Iris. I mean, more like Oris. But one of the notes that stick out the most to me is the chocolate in here. Once you spray it on, once you spray it on your skin and let it develop on your skin a little bit, you get a very, very beautiful, milky chocolate notes in here. And it's absolutely delicious, mouth watering. I love chocolate, but I don't necessarily like chocolate in fragrance because sometimes I feel like the way that chocolate is executed in fragrance, just not my cup of tea, you know? Sometimes it smells kind of artificial, but not in this case though. The chocolate in here smell very, very delicious and very close to real chocolate, you know? Ah, it is gourmand, but to me, it's a very sophisticated gourmand in my opinion. It doesn't just smell like food, it has more to it. Um, it has a lot more character to it. And that's why I love it so much. If you love a beautiful gourmand, a sophisticated gourmand, then you have to check out Roseno Matu 1970. Y'all, I finally have Bianco Latte and Bora Bora from Giardini di Toscana in my collection. Oh my God, I have been hearing about Bianco Latte. Like my ear is full of hearing all about Bianco Latte everywhere from YouTube to Instagram, Facebook group, and of course, TikTok. TikTok is a social media platform that blew up Bianco Latte, and I can't see the reason why. It is delicious. This is beautiful gourmand vanilla-centric fragrance. If you love a gourmand vanilla-centric fragrance, then this is the one for you. This is all about vanilla. The vanilla in here is definitely on a more foody dessert side of vanilla. It is not a complicated, complex vanilla whatsoever. It's definitely the star of the show. It's definitely the main ingredient, the main thing of this fragrance. This is a beautiful, fluffy clouds of vanilla. It's extremely delicious, comforting, cozy. If you love Tijota from Indol Paris, if you love Escapade Gourmand from Maison Mataha, then you will love Bianco Latte. This, all of these three fragrances are from the same universe, but I'm telling you, this is the most affordable fragrance in this category. And yeah, of course you can find other fragrance in this category that is cheaper than Bianco Latte, but Bianco Latte, Gia from Giardini di Toscana, is a niche fragrance guy and it has the niche quality and if you if you know what i'm saying it's refined i haven't worn this for a full wear test yet but from what i see it lasts pretty long and it projects because i spray this on a blotter and i left it on my room i left it on my fragrance shelf and I can smell it. I can see it fill up my room. I sprayed it last night around 8 p.m. And until today, it is 2 p.m. right now, I can still smell it in my room. So about a longevity, you don't have to worry and people will definitely smell you when you wear this fragrance. It's absolutely, absolutely delicious, guy. And I don't care how many fragrances in this cate category I already have in my collections, I would not say no to vanilla fragrance guy. 
and I would recommend this fragrance to you guys because I think it has it's very affordable for a niche brand. $150 for 100 ml for what you get, the quality that you get, I think is a steal. Just my opinion. Um, I love this brand and I can see a lot of people loving this brand. And this one, Bora Bora, again, this is a first impressions. I haven't tried this fragrance for a full wear test yet, but Gosh, this is so, so beautiful. Tropical vacation type of fragrance. If you plan to go on a tropical vacation sometime soon, then you should try Bora Bora. You should try to bring this fragrance on your trip because I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna fit in the scenery, the vibe so well. This is white floral with yellow floral with a touch of honey and coconut milk in here. I can't even talk because it smells so freaking delicious, gorgeous. It makes my mouth watering. This one to me, the star of the show is the Tierra Flower. I could definitely smell this fragrance in here. If you don't know about this fragrance, I mean, if you don't know about this flower, it is a white flower with a very, very prominent, strong green aspect to it and with a honey touch. So you can definitely smell that green touch and honey touch in here with that typical white floral. It smells very, very, exotic in my opinion when you smell it you feel like you literally on a tropical island for example hawaii i think of hawaii right away when i smell bora bora and you get in here a banana touch from ylang ylang also and then you get that milky creamy coconut touch in here it is not coconut water okay to me this smell like coconut milk because it has that milky creamy touch which make this fragrance so delicious kind of gourmand ish borderline but the white flower the yellow flower pull it back keep it on an edge completely not going to gourmand territory so yeah beautiful i can't wait to wear this i probably will wait for next summer to wear it but I'm telling you, again, this is a beautiful tropical vacations fragrance. If you plan to go somewhere tropical, then bring this with you. Buy it and bring it with you because I promise you, it's going to capture that beautiful memories. So yeah, we have Bianco Latte and Bora Bora. By the way, guys, if you don't know, I have a coat with Zijio Perfumery. So if you buy Bianco Latte, Bora Bora, or anything, anything from Zijio Perfumery, you can save your money by using code MINZY10. All right guys, now we're done with the fragrances. Let's move on to all the books that I bought in this haul. And all of these books that I'm showing you today are all fragrances books and let me show you guys what I got. So first of all, I got this book right here and I also got it from Zijo Perfumery. Um, this is the books from Ness. If you know Ness, they do a lot of fragrance book and it is called De la Plante à la Sante and it means from plan to essence. And this is the book that talk about all the ingredients, all of the natural material that they use in perfumery, how they get those ingredients, how they get those raw material and turn it into fragrances. So yeah, I got this book because I would love to know the process behind it. And if you know me, I am a nerd at heart, guys. And when I love something, 
I put my heart in it. I will do all the research needed to educate myself on that topic. And because fragrances are such a passion, a big passion of mine, I gotta do everything I can to educate myself on this topic. Especially as a fragrance reviewer, I want to educate myself so that I can give a more profound review on the fragrances that I am talking about on my channel. I want to learn not only different fragrances and different fragrance brand, but also the science, the process behind the scene of making a fragrance, the craftsmanship, the art of the whole perfumery industry. I want to know about the history of perfumery because to me, we don't have the present and the future without the past. So I gotta learn how perfumery evolves with time. The next book that I got is Nose Dive, a few guides to the world smells. And this one right here, I actually got this book Thanks to my girl here at ZGO Perfumery, Gigi. Thank you so much for recommending me this book because it is absolutely amazing. I love this book so much. I only make this far, but so far, there's a lot of great information in here. If you love the science aspect of making a fragrance of, you know, how smells work, then you should check this book out. I actually got this book from Book Outlet. Um, it's only $6, it's really, really inexpensive. You can also get this from Amazon. Of course, on Amazon, it's gonna be more expensive, but to be honest, guy, this worth every single penny because it is so, it is so informative, guys. I love this book. <sighs> It's actually, it's a very, very thick book. I think it's gonna take me some time to go through this book, but that's okay because I like to take my time with my book. I'm actually a pretty slow reader, especially English is my secondary language, so it adds up to my slower reading, but I don't mind, I, I like to, I love to take my times with my book. I'm not gonna rush through a book because again, I like to taking my time with it. I like to stop and think and reflect on what I just read. Sometimes I even make notes about it or discuss with somebody else about what I just read. That's how I learn, guys. That's how I absorb information in the most beneficial way for me. So yeah, again, this is a more scientific aspect of smell which relates closely with fragrances, with how we smell things. So if you are interested in that aspect, check out this book. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is worth every single penny. I got three other books. I actually know nothing about these books. I don't know if they're good or not, but because they are so affordable, so of course I gotta try it out. Um, they look pretty nice for coffee table books too, and because I'm going to have a house soon, this book is gonna be decorated on that table, and of course I have to read them too. But first one is per The Perfume of Century Chanel number no. five. This book right here. I don't know if you can see, yeah, okay. So these next three books I also got from uh, Book Outlets for five, six dollars, super affordable. This is a very nice one. They have like all of the picture and stuff of the fragrance um, and of Coco Chanel, yeah. So that is that. And then the next one is the Perfume Companion, the definite, the definitive guide to choosing your next scent. And this is the books right here. It's hardcover. 
so it's perfect for you know coffee table books i actually um get another nose dive book but in heart cover copy so that i can put it on my coffee table but i'm gonna read from the paperback book so that i don't ruin my heart copy guys i'm i'm ocd okay <laughs> so i love to keep my books very fresh and clean well if you can't tell i even have like these magnetic bookmarks so that i'm not gonna fold my books page you know so i need these things to bookmark where i just read and to keep my books fresh and clean and then the last one is the secret of sense adventures in perfume and the science of smell from luca turin so i got this one right here this one looks a little more like technical stuff hopefully it makes sense when i read it but i'm very very excited to learn more about the scientific aspect of fragrances of smell so yeah that is the three other books i got from book outlet um beside nose dive but yeah i am still reading working through this book and i hope that by reading all of these books i'll be more educated and more of informative with my review for you guys but yeah guys that is the end of my haul today i hope you enjoy my video you enjoy all of the fragrances i talk about today and of course all of the books that i have in this haul please leave a comment below if you guys have tried any of the fragrances i'm t i was talking about today and then if any of the books that you already read or any, any of the fragrance book you would like to recommend me, I would love to know. But yeah, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching my video today and love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.